Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the show. Today, I got a really good question. Uh, this comes from a soccer trainer in Florida, and his name is Tim. And Tim asked me, he said, Hey, Ben, right now my business is doing around $4,000 per month. I want to get to the $10,000 per month level. Uh, what are some things that I can do to get there? And uh, my answer on this has changed a lot actually over the past couple of years because I have a lot of videos on YouTube where I talk about money. I talk about how to grow and scale your business. And if you haven't watched those videos, like, feel free to go watch those. They're free <laughs> on YouTube. And I feel like I give a lot of good strategy and good advice there. Um, but today, my answer is very simple uh, for Tim. So Tim, if you're watching this, uh, what we need to do first is understand what got you here in the first place. Like, how did you get to the point where you're making $4,000 a month? And oftentimes coaches and trainers overlook what they've done in the past to generate income. And then they just stop doing those things. So for example, when I started my business, I spent like, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I spent every single weekend going out to the fields, watching games, talking to parents, uh, meeting people, coming away with phone numbers, calling people, putting on free demo sessions. I, I did that for years and I didn't go away from that like because that kept working right and it's easy to get caught up though like after you have clients to just be like ah, i don't need to do that anymore so the first thing i would do is go back to what you originally did to get clients and double down on that right that's that's number one number two as you grow your business you don't want to um grow your business and, and financially do better and have to work more. All right. So what I'm getting at here is you should turn your training business into a group setup, right? So with a group setup, you're training more kids at once. You have less sessions that you have throughout the week, which means you have more free time. So as you end up making more money, the amount of time that you're training starts to decrease. Right? It's not increasing. So every new client you get, you're not spending more time training. You're, every new client you get, you're spending probably the same amount or you're handing that off or you're delegating that off to another coach. Right? And the third thing here is I know if you're asking for advice on how to get to that level, I know you're not running referral programs. Uh, I know that you're not uh, sending out newsletters every single week. I know that you're not putting out offers um, to your current clients to have them do more things. Um, I know you're probably not running a clinic every other week or once a month. So like running a clinic once a month automatically generates more revenue, um, even if it's free, because on the back end, you can make sales to your main program uh, if you have enough kids that are there. Um, but those, those are things that I would look at is, you know, a, how can I start offering more referrals uh, or how can I put together a referral program? Uh, how can I capitalize on a referral program? How can I make that a system? So every month that, that generates new uh, players and, and, and students into my academy. Um, so those are a couple of things that I would look at. Um, and I'm not going to say, well, yeah, you should start running Facebook ads or you should start doing this or that. No, you, you should double down on what got you here in the first place. All right. And you should turn everything into a group system. All right. You should start running more clinics to draw in new people. All right. That also generates more income. Um, and you should set things up in a way where as you make more income, you are not working more hours. And I have said that a lot over the past couple podcasts that doesn't click with everyone until it becomes a painful enough problem. Right. And you know what I'm talking about. If you get burned out with training and you're getting burned out because you're working too many hours, it's not because you don't like training anymore. It's because you're working too many hours. Um, and that is a huge problem that coaches get as they start growing their business, they're making more money. Well, now they're working more hours. We have to flip that mindset. Hope that helps and uh, see you later.